Okay, here we go. Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. Karen, and I am going to walk through a question that I got this week and show you how to set up a YouTube account so that you can create online tutorials for parent training. So, for example, if you want to share some of the things that you're doing in therapy, train your parents on certain things, explain things to parents, and you don't want to have to explain it to you know, a number of different parents over and over, you want to just give them a quick video explanation, this is a great way to do it. So this will work for you whether you are doing online therapy and you've got to have a way to take what you're doing in therapy and send it home, or it actually works pretty well, even if you are doing in-person therapy. So regardless of the situation that you're in right now, this will work for you. It's a great way to take what you're doing in therapy and take it to the next level. You can also do this if you have adult clients and you want to give them some home practice. If you've got teachers you're working with and you want to share something with them as far as language facilitation, works great for any of those things. But this is a great way to do it for free, to share some of that information about what you're doing in your therapy sessions. The great part about it is that you don't have to be super tech savvy and you can actually do it with tools that you already have accessible um, to you for free. Um, and so the way that we are going to do that is by setting up a Gmail account and then, and that will get you set up with YouTube. I did do a tutorial earlier about how to record a video and upload it to YouTube using Zoom, but I've also gotten some questions about how to set up that YouTube account. And so I'm gonna share my screen right now and walk you through that process. So let me go through and share my screen here. There we go, okay. So um, you will notice that, let me actually stop my video for a second here because I've noticed before that my head has been in the way and you can't see the upper right corner. There you go. Okay, so if you go to the upper right corner, um, you can see the actual YouTube account. You'll notice that if you've got multiple YouTube accounts, or not YouTube, sorry, Gmail accounts, sometimes you might be signed into one versus another. I've got a ton of uh, Gmail accounts because I've got one for my personal, one for my business, and then one that I use to actually share with some of my, um, one of my assistants that works for me. So you're going to go up, um, if you're already signed in, if you already have a Gmail account, you're going to go to the upper right corner and click on that. And you can see here, it shows all the different accounts of people who are currently logged in on this computer. Um, you do want to, you, you can add another account here. This is how you log into a different account that you might have, or you, um, if you don't want to be signed into any of those, you can sign out of all accounts. Or you could just simply go to gmail.com and that will be the main login page. So what I'm going to do here is um, you can either go to gmail.com or I'm gonna just click um, add a different account. Okay, so here's the Gmail sign-in. Um, so I'm gonna go out of there. And so here, if you're on the main Gmail sign-in page, you can create an account. So I'm gonna just click um, to create my Google account. So I'm gonna set up a Google account here. So I'm gonna just enter this in. And I'm gonna create a new account while we're sitting here. And then you've gotta pick your username. So I'm gonna say, let's see if I can find one. See if they'll let me use that username. Sometimes you've got to play around with it a little bit. Okay, and it let me do that. You've got to enter your information in here. Sometimes they want a recovery email address. Now you guys are all gonna see what my birthday is so you know how old I am. And there we go. Okay. So now it's gonna ask you to verify your phone number and you are gonna simply um, do this right here. And um, you are going to, it's gonna ask you to, um, 
verify based on your phone number and all you're going to simply do is you're going to have to enter that verification code and then it's going to take you to your gmail account so once you've gone through that you're going to be able to actually sign in to your gmail account and your account is going to be completely set up so all you're going to have to do is go back and sign into your gmail so once that done once that's done, you're going to be able to go in and you're going to go into this main Gmail page here. So I am not actually going to go through that account verification. I'm just going to show you in an account that's set up. So what you're going to want to do when your Gmail account is actually set up is that you're going to go in to your inbox here. And so what you want to do is that when you set up a Gmail account, you also have these other things available to you. So you have Google Maps, Google Drive, Photos, Calendar, um, and then you've got a YouTube account. You've got all these things accessible to you in your Google Suite. So now that you've set up that account, you're going to be able to start uploading videos to YouTube under that account. Now you will have to actually make sure, so for example, if you've got another Gmail account, you have to make sure that you are actually in that account to upload videos to that specific YouTube channel. So for example, if I were in my drkarenspeech.com account, um, which I've got over on this, you know, and on this tab here, um, a different icon with my, um, with my face is gonna come up here, a different profile is gonna come up. And if I were to click on here, um, it's gonna show me that I'm actually signed into um, the YouTube account associated with where, whichever account that I'm signed into. So you might have to sign out of all of your accounts and then go in and sign into that specific Gmail account that you want to be the one is, that you're uploading your YouTube videos on. And I mention this because I've got multiple YouTube accounts. I've got a personal account. I've got this account that I'm showing you right now that is um, something that I use just to communicate with my team. And then I also have an account that's my work account that's associated with my Dr. Karen speech and language pages and things like that. And so th that's the one that I use to upload YouTube videos for my blog and things like that. So what you might want to do is you might want to create a separate Gmail account. That's your account that you use to share parent tutorials with them. And then you're always going to want to make sure that when you click over to YouTube here that you're actually signed into the right account. So I'm going to click here and then you're going to look over here in the top right hand corner. So see, because I am also signed in in this other tab to my Dr. Karen speech um, Gmail account, you can see that it actually bumped over and now I'm actually logged in under this account. So if this happens, if you're signed in to, like if you're in one Gmail account and you click over to YouTube and you see that it's, you're actually in, um, you, you actually popped over to YouTube in a different account, all you're gonna wanna do is sign out or click switch account and then you're gonna log in and you're just gonna use the same login information that you did to sign into that Gmail account. So your login for your um, YouTube account is going to be the same one that you use for your Gmail account. So all I need to do here is if I wanted to switch over to, for example, this account right here, I just want to sign out. And then I'm going to have to, let's see, sign in again. And then I'm actually going to go up here and I'm going to have to pick the right account. And I'm going to hit next. So that's going to log me in. It looks just like Google. But now you can see, now that I've done that, it's actually under the account that I want. So that's how you're going to do it. And then I showed you the video the other day, but all you need to do to upload a video is you're going to click this icon and you're going to click upload video and then you're going to walk through that process of uploading your video which i explained the other day um, and so if you i will actually share that video below this one the link to that one where i explain how to record and upload the videos but this is how you actually go ahead and um, and set up the account
So that's how it's done. Let me get over here and pop my video back up and stop my share here. So if you've got additional questions about this, um, or if you want to see some of those other videos, again, I'm gonna show you the video, a link to that below, which is um, the video where I explain how to actually upload the video. But this is how you go ahead and set up the account if you need help with that. I've also got a new resource that I have just started sharing. It is a teletherapy resource list for SLPs. So these videos obviously are teletherapy friendly or a good way to communicate with your parents if you are doing teletherapy right now. So I've also got a teletherapy resource list where I will actually link to this video that I'm recording right now and then also link to some other information that you can use about recording videos for parents, um, doing therapy online, some online tutorials and some HIPAA guidelines as well. So I'll link to some of those below the video and I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much everybody for watching.